So this is the beginning of a giant floral oil painting. I saw a bouquet of anemone flowers um, and they were just amazing. There's a florist I follow. Um, she's based out of Australia, I think possibly in Melbourne, Melbourne. but uh, I actually was inspired by a picture of her holding a, a giant batch of smoke bush. So I kind of decided to kind of keep my eyes peeled on anything else she might post and did a deep dive on her Instagram. Uh, her Instagram, Instagram name's Elbor. I'll put it in the description. So I saw these anemones and initially I wasn't sure if I wanted to go monochromatic, if I wanted to do a couple different pops of color, if I wanted to keep it tight or loose and as it typically happens once I got started it I just felt like I knew exactly what I needed to do once I used pencil to kind of map out the placement of the flowers I did a orange underpainting um, I really like the effect that it makes and it also helps take away some of the uh, angst with seeing the white canvas here. Sometimes it can be intimidating, so it's helpful to just already have some color there and not be so consumed with covering every square inch with something. Next comes a very short break to readjust my baby. I'm really <laughs> painting without an interruption of some sort. So I think I got the darks and the mid-tones where I want them and so at this point I'm trying to decide about like where I want to put the contrasting colors the the lights and a way to bring them alive more and I think I made it work I ended up deciding to name this beauty rise up higher and there's its sister the wind is talking and all of these paintings are on display right now in downtown Louisville. It's part of my solo exhibit. If you are interested in this baby, you can see it at shakiaharrisart.com. Send me an email.